Our testers here at Outdoors Magic have been out and about in the UK's mountains this winter, putting this new jacket from Rab to the test. It's called the Generator Alpine. Now, if you're looking for a jacket for, well, just downright miserable conditions, you're in the right place. You'll see a combination of shots by myself and our gear tester, Alia, here. I've been using the generator on a few big hikes in the Brecon Beacons. He's been out using it in Snowdonia and the Highlands of Scotland. Now this thing's primarily a belay jacket. It's the kind of thing that climbers will pull on at the base of a crag when it's cold and pretty wet. The old dependable thing that's made to withstand everything that's thrown at it. It's filled with Primaloft gold fibers, creating a fill that feels like down, that's light like down, that insulates like down, but that's also able to carry on insulating even when it's wet. It's also more durable than down, so you can wear a heavy backpack over the top and not have to worry too much about the fill being damaged. We're massive fans of the stuff here at Outdoors Magic. What's more though, these fibers are also mixed with something Primaloft call cross-core technology. And this contains an aerogel-based material that was first developed by NASA to insulate cables in space. 95% air, this stuff is regarded as the lightest solid material known to man and one of the most effective insulating materials out there. The insulation is actually body mapped too, so you've got a heavier weight fill of around 133 grams per square meters throughout most of the jacket, but then a lighter fill in certain sections where a thick fill isn't needed so much. Then there's the Pertex Quantum Pro outer fabric with diamond fuse technology. Yeah, I know I'm at risk of bombarding you with tech info here, but this does deserve to be explained. What Pertex have done is they've achieved a very light but super durable fabric by linking up thousands of tiny diamond shaped yarns that lock together. Imagine logs in a pile, they're rounded and have lots of gaps between them. That's what normal yarns are like. Now imagine if all of those logs were diamond shaped and were all nestled together neatly. That's what we've got going on here. Now I've already mentioned that this is a belay jacket and this has loads of details for that specific use. You've got a huge peaked hood that'll fit over a helmet and that has a big glove friendly toggle on the back. Glove friendly zipper tabs on the chest pocket and on the main zip which is also two way so you can wear it over a harness and have access to your belay plate. There's a big dump pocket on the inside too, actually make that two dump pockets on the inside. Perfect place to stash a big pair of gloves or mitts. Other details include large glove friendly adjustable cuffs, adjustment at the hem, two large zipped hand warmers, oh and it comes with a little stuff sack too. All bundled up, it's about 1.5 litres inside, so not bad at all. I'm 5 foot 10, nearly always wear a size medium jacket and that's the size I've been wearing, Alia 2. I'd say it fits pretty well. As you can see, it's quite a baggy cut. I found it'll fit under some of my looser waterproof jackets comfortably but it can be a bit of a squeeze in the slimmer options that I've got. The thing is, with this kind of jacket used in the scenario it's made for, you're more likely to be leaving this exposed to the elements or even throwing it over the top of a waterproof jacket, not wearing it underneath one. Well, I hope you found that run through useful. Drop a comment down below if you have any questions, I'd be happy to help there. Like and subscribe if you could as well, that would be much appreciated. Thanks very much for watching. Catch you next time.